So we have a 2020 Forest River Geo Pro. Um, but this will apply to most RVs, I think, of this of this class. Maybe not the Airstreams and the high-end stuff, but they all share the same components, more or less. So what happened here was, is I was not getting water from the sink, even though the pump was working, and my shower was getting water. And I know that these lines wrap around here, go under and split, come up to the sink, and then continue on uh, towards the bathroom in the back. So uh, they share the same main hot and cold lines. And uh, one thing that the Geo Pro did is they tucked the SureFlow pump nice way back in there with no other access except through this drawer that's right here. And that really saddens me because they could have um, made some kind of access from a top here, maybe put a little door but this bed is uh, screwed down and sealed so you can't really come in from the top. Anyway, that being said, uh, so before you take apart this entire pump, thinking that it's your pump that's not getting water to your sink, uh, I was ready to start pulling things apart. But it turned out to be the simplest of all things and most of the, even your household faucets have this where you can screw this off and you have a little screen in there here on this side which kind of aerates the water a little bit and captures the stuff coming in but just punch that through there comes apart and what you have here is uh, maybe two pieces and it's this piece right here it has these little teeny tiny holes in there they get clogged up with sediment and sand or whatever is in the water, calcium uh, buildup and stuff. And those little holes get clogged up to a point where no water will come out of your faucet. So you really just have to go in there and bang it around, maybe take a small uh, pin, you know, sewing, a sewing needle or something like that. Just kind of poke around in there and clean all those out. The water actually uh, comes in through this hole all that water goes through this hole and comes out these right here and then filters down through that screen in and out. And that's all you need to do. Check it before you take apart your pump.